my own f feeling about it is that we have infantilized so much theology. We taught the lay people almost no good theology. So what we did... And we taught the clergy bad theology. And we taught the clergy <laughs> bad theology. That's right. And what we left most of the churches with was kind of a child's Disneyland definition of heaven. Now, if you, if you develop any kind of mature spirituality at all, let alone mystical, mystical theology, where, where the mystics talk about the, the uh, awareness of the presence of God, the overwhelming presence of God, they are not talking about this, this candy land heaven that we leave adult Christians with as some sort of sign or signal of their spirituality. Um, that, that, you know, I hath not seen, ear hath not heard, one of the most powerful lines in all of Scripture, to sit around in your lifetime trying to describe, define, determine what those gates are going to look like, what that day is going to be, who's going to be there and where. Uh, is, is Earth two-dimensional? But maybe, maybe the scientists, you know, kind of, kind of seduce you into believing that maybe there are more dimensions of life than this one. Maybe we are all here together and you don't know it. Maybe this is heaven and we are surrounded by every soul that has ever existed. Wouldn't that be? Think of the power in this room. We don't have to think about any of that. We, we have been told to bring the kingdom here. We have been told. You and I have been told. Not the clergy. Not the cardinalite. You and I. That's our measure. That's my only measure. What have I done today, and please don't answer that one, to advance or retard the kingdom? <laughs>